Skatosis episode number 88, brought to you by olddudeskateco.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Skatosis, everybody. How's it going, buddy? Good. <laughs> Episode 88. My name is uh, Drew Domkus. I'm Aaron Monty. Lift that mic up a little bit, because now you're not slouched like you were. So you just moved it'll from never, our setup. It'll never. Well, I need the mic in your mouth. I- <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's been two weeks now, because last week was unfortunately the weird like winter snowstorm here. It's almost 60 today. <laughs> I mean, uh, not even winter. It was April. Yeah, uh, mid-April. Mid-April snowstorm kept you from coming out. And then didn't you get snow again Wednesday? Yeah, we got it again, big I time. dropped off on Fond du Lac. Did we it? We didn't get anything north. Oh, no, we got... I Look at it. It's, there's still snow on the ground outside. Mm-hmm. But so, um, basically, Skatos is just you and I talking about skateboarding. I mean, when it all comes down to it. Yeah. No frills. It's just skateboarding. Just skateboarding. So if you want to hear a couple of dudes to be. talk about skateboarding, you're in the right place. You found it. <laughs> you found the good, right show. Good job. Right, good job. We don't do interviews, or we really haven't done interviews. No, maybe we should. I don't know. Something maybe about... It's good to get stories. It's good to get a I perspective. Think it, I, I agree, but I think if nobody else knows who that person is, what's the big deal? You know yeah, what I mean? You can, you can learn. You can. I listen to other podcasts that do a lot of interviews, and I tend to really get interested in the ones where I at least have an idea who that person is. If mm-hmm. it's just some Joe Skater that I just never heard of, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's not as interesting. It's not as I interesting. I don't know. I've, I've heard the same, similar skateboarding-based podcast. Am I going in and out? Hmm? No. no. No, I'm good. You're good. You um, just got to get that mic closer. Similar skateboarding podcast, and I've almost enjoyed every one because of it. Like even if I didn't know them, mm-hmm. it's an it's been an interesting story to me. I no. think we have some friends within skating in this crazy Wisconsin state. But here's the second part of that: Do you think you could do a good interview? That's half the task because if you don't know how to ask the right questions, then it's just a ramble. I, I, I don't know. I've I've heard similar not skateboarding podcasts, mm-hmm. and they do have guests on a lot of times, mm-hmm. and I think. You can do both. I think it depends on who the guest is. So I'm saying it's an art to do a good interview. Sure. I've done a bunch of interviews and I'm not that good at that part of it. Uh-huh. Dawn, Dawn's way better than me. Uh huh. And so I don't, you know, it looks, people make it look easy. Mm-hmm. Chris, True. Chris Roberts, dude, he makes a good interview look True. really easy. True. It's just not, he just knows how to chit chat. Mm-hmm. I think I could do homework. I think I could do it. Bring an interview. Like, do an interview. Bring it to the show. Make something happen. Who? I don't know. Who should I? You've got a whole bunch alone, of skate- solo, dude. You've got all kinds of people in Appleton. You could be bringing stories to. Interview Jake. Interview Freddie. Interview all kinds of people. I should interview Freddie. It feels weird to do it without you. I'm just saying. Well, Partners that's the thing. In crime. An interview shouldn't be three part. Is all I'm saying. Roger doesn't. No, do much. I don't think. I guess so, but they have. I mean, they have. Three then it becomes a round the- table and not an interview. That's what I'm saying. There's a difference. There's no rules. I didn't say the word. Yeah, so we you, could do whatever. You're we, the we one could, that said you could, wanted to bring interviews. Yeah, and that and that doesn't mean it has to be a classic interview. <laughs> Let's put forty people up in oh here. Oh my gosh, that would suck. And everybody's <laughs> eating cereal. <laughs> that's that's the whole podcast actually. <laughs> oh, I love cereal. I love cereal, but man, do you ever hear like people like eating a podcast, on a podcast where they're eating? Ugh, I don't. It terrible. doesn't bug me that much. Really? Yeah. I don't know. If you got headphones on, it's just right in your head. Maybe yeah, that, oh, that, doing it, it's, it's terrible. No, no, no. I mean, if you're listening to somebody else. I don't know. Oh. There's something about hearing, like, lip smacking and just, like, it's just, just gross. A, yeah, yeah, totally. Even if, I think it sounds really bad when I'm wearing headphones like this mm-hmm. and I'm in the mic. Uh-huh. But if I was, I don't know. I've, I mean, I listen to podcasts at work. Right. And they do, and it comes up. What? That they're like, don't, don't be eating right yeah, now yeah. all the time, but it doesn't. Because I know it bugs other people, but I don't think it bugs me. To hear other people, you mean? Yeah, oh, and I think that's why it gets minority. brought up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it gets brought up on the podcast that uh, they're like, there's a lot of people who hate that, yeah. or that person hates that sure. sound. It's a weird thing, because even if you're sitting next to somebody eating too loud. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's totally true. 
I'm never that. I would. I don't know. I'm never like somebody to say something. Mm. Is that a weird? Is that a weird thing to say something? In the, have you like said something to a stranger? No. That is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never. No. It's got to be like a really good friend for you to say something. Yeah. If the, you could tell them their breath stinks, then maybe you could tell them they're eating too loud. Could you say that to a stranger? I feel like I have said that to a stranger. <laughs> what they're eating too loud? No, that their no, stinks? their breath stinks. <laughs> Sometimes no. I mean sometimes you're like helping somebody, right? Yeah, but you kind of like the sound you said, so. I don't like I mean I don't like it's not like a fetish of mine. I don't go out of my way to hear <laughs> ASM, that. ASM, what is that? Stuff? What is, isn't it like feeding? Well, the feeding is when you feed somebody else to keep them fat. If you're a feeder. Why so are we getting saying... so off topic here? <laughs> what is going this on? This is here? on <laughs> This Jeez. is on topic now. <laughs> so I so you're a feeder who likes the sound of people eating. Yeah. All right. The audio of feeding. <laughs> um, she does now. No, I guess so. Does she listen to the show? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she lies to me. You she could, says she does. <laughs> you, well, you could say something right now, and that'd be the test. Um, Give her a code word, a secret word. Well, I always, I've said things on other shows, and she hasn't said anything to the fact, and I never bring it up. So I, I think that answers my question. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say... Joe, just tell him tomato sandwich. Joe, if you're listening know. to this... Um, I already said it. You're, th you're taking way too long. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to really get into my memory. Of what? Of uh, what do I, I want to gain from saying this, if she is listening. Well... The fact would be regardless. You say tomato she, sandwich? You're saying that's her code word. If she says that oh. to you, which is so bizarre, you'll, you'll know that she heard this. All right, fair. That's all I'm saying. I was going to say, like, like, make a grilled cheese when I get home, if you're listening to this. Then it's a time-based thing. When is this going to get posted? Oh, that's true. Know, no, this dude. is live. She's <laughs> listening. To, she is the feed. What feed are you she talking has, about? I, she has a specific feed. You have so no she idea does, what you're talking she does about. Listen, she does listen to it. Yeah, she's got your phone tap. Yeah. You're going to have a grilled cheese when you get home. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> All right. This, <laughs> this worked out for me. It's going to be a grilled tomato sandwich. Gross. That's what, I, I, that's what made me think of like the grilled cheese. Because mm -hmm. I thought you said to it, and I like, didn't like yeah. comprehend it. Tomato sandwich would be so gross. I don't, yeah, I don't do tomato Okay, you hate tomato altogether, but just like a tomato sandwich. No, would be I just awful. hate the tomato. I love all the byproduct. Yeah, but you wouldn't do a tomato sandwich. No, I think tomato sandwich would be bad for everyone involved in this room. Yeah. All right, back to skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe people are tuning in because it's not about skateboarding, but I doubt it. I don't know. There's probably a lot more people that don't skateboard that do. The that very, are listening. That are, well, I not think necessarily audience, listening, but uh, I think the <laughs> audience of things related to skateboarding uh -huh. of just skateboarding reaches mm -hmm. some people i'm gonna give the example right now of roy purdy and i oh, hate what? that roy i'm doing purdy that hustles no but what i'm saying is there's like there's people because there's another it's not just him skateboarding there's another side of roy purdy right yeah, doing but, other things so sure. that allures to like other people outside of skating i think skateboarding is very because he's only trying to do that yeah but i'm just i'm just saying like I'm saying I'm our, all I'm saying is our audience is probably very small, and they're probably hoping we talk about skateboarding. Yeah, but this is going to bring in other ones. They're going to be how, like, "What the it, fuck is he talking about? Tomato sandwich?" How's it going to bring them in? They'll hear it. How? The, it'll it'll get through the internet. How? It'll get through the the, <laughs> the you, Ethernet. Uh, it's, you're out, it's in there. Are you now. out promoting it now? You're a big marketer. I don't even need to promote it. It's out there. <laughs> it's hard enough to get skateboarders to listen to this. That's true. It's, it's hard enough to get your friends to listen to this. It's hard to do anything. I Things know. are hard. That's what I'm saying. Roy Purdy's a hustler and he works hard. I'm not getting, this isn't a getting you down on Roy Purdy. I know. I'm, I'm saying, saying he's a hustler. I'm giving I'm him giving as him a props. good example of being two different things. He's, There's, he's cross marketing. Yes. Absolutely. There's skateboarders that are 10 times better than him that get actually, way less views. Actually, he put views. out a quick little rap song the other day that I thought was actually pretty good. Yeah, but what I'm saying is he does other things. He Did does other things. No. Dude. But he does other things. I hate a lot of the stuff he does, but that, that song that he just whipped out really quick as like a, like, just like a teaser for the song he's putting out, uh -huh. it was like, it was pretty good. Uh -huh. And the quick edit and everything, like, he's just, his chops are getting better. He's just in the, he's where he's supposed to be. And this yeah. is becoming the Roy Purdy show. 
But uh, I'm just saying. I didn't. I didn't want to lean it that way. Mm, too late. I shouldn't even brought it up. I knew it. <laughs> I still have never met the guy, is all. But if you want to talk about cross promoting, I, I, I you just have heard to be another a, like you just bad have to be story a, about him. Well, you just got to be a promoter to first cross promote. Yeah, I'm not denying his talent, mm-hmm. but I'm also not denying other things that I've said. He's on Axe. You know that body spray? He's on their team now. They like, have a team? Like, like Sheckler was. Remember? He's, he's sponsored by Axe. No, I do not remember Shackler being sponsored by Dude, Axe. yeah, he did a whole, there was a whole crazy weird video of him doing a, what did he do? He did a launch ramp over a golf cart, and in the air, he sprayed Axe. <laughs> oh, my God. I Don't do you remember, remember that? this. Yeah. yeah. That was a commercial for Axe. Was that Shackler? Yes. Absolutely, that was Shackler. I, like, vaguely remember this mm-hmm. ad now. As soon as you said, like, the yeah. spritz thing. Oh, there was a like, whole thing. Uh, wasn't he, like, boned I out? I think it was. I don't know about bone down. No, he was like he was catching air. I think it was like a melon grab or something. But he okay. but he had the time slow mo to spray both his pits. Right. I think Jenkum put out a thing about like the top ten worst ads, and it was like oh, t- Tony Hawk right? and his bagel bites or something like that. And and Sheckler was one of them. Bam did like Mountain Dew or something extreme or he was, did Right Guard. Yeah, Right Guard. Bam did. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. But Sheckler yeah. was doing Axe spray. And so, so I just saw it was like Roy Purdy on his stories or something. He's now got Axe Gold, whatever that means. Uh huh. <laughs> hey I mean, man, that's, I mean, that's dude, that's hustling, man. Man, it's hustling. such a it's such a different world of skateboarding. There's like specific people that you can think of that did like ads. Yeah, mm-hmm. did ads. Were at that. That it's like another side of skateboarding. Oh yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of. I mean, now look. I mean, everything is an ad now. Everything you can't look yeah, at P Rod without I mean, seeing Nike logo. I mean, so how many people is it just the swoosh? That's advertising, dude. Every yeah, time you're yeah, looking but at it, Red I mean, Bull, Red Bull, has P Rod ever been in? Did he do a Target commercial? Yeah, I'm sure Every, he is a Target, or he was a Target yeah, commercial. Yeah, but you know what I mean, like a like a Actual, television, like a not world. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty like sure nationwide he did. commercial. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he would have done a Target, Target one. Target, yeah, the I think MP- Sean White did a Target one too. Yeah, and they did. Uh, Mountain Dew, and I mean, there's all kinds of big ones, Monster yeah. and Red Bull. I mean, those are mega. Yeah, but there's still only like, think of how many fucking skaters there are, and there's been like what handful, maybe mm. ten that have done them. Uh, Alex Midler, he's on Red Bull, and now he just got, he just went pro on Sovereign. Yeah, but he's been on Red Bull for not, how long? Long time. A long time. Mm-hmm. But I don't think he's ever done an ad. Well, like I, like I mean that I've seen. Yeah, there could be Red Bull ads pulling, starring Alex Midler in Japan. Who yeah. knows? You know. Yeah, and I, I mean, there's I forgot about the Ryan Shackler one. Dude, there's advertising, and what you see and what they produce, it, it's such a small amount. Yeah. You know, when you're talking about so many different markets. Yeah, that's true. And there, what the other podcast I was referring to, mm-hmm. they just like worked on a show, and like how many shows get done, and then they get cut right away. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. There's so many celebrities that make crazy money doing ads for weird commercials and stuff for, for like weird brands in mm-hmm. like other countries mm-hmm. that you never yeah, see. Yeah, but I, I I think it's so different from like an actor compared to like I don't know. Skaters aren't I mean, skaters aren't actors, but they're still people and they can be. Well, you can't define a skateboarder. They're across the yeah. they're across every walk of life. But yeah. I mean, if you want to start usually, talking about who you know, it's making... usually like the dirty. Gr- it's not like you like Ryan Sheckler you compared to like you can't stereotype. Dude, some of the best skateboarders are dirty ass. No, skate I'm rats. just yeah. And I'm yet, just saying the stereotype the in a ones... lot of people's mind is like dirty green. Like, is it? People are coming up thinking that like I think it's changing. That, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you but look I think at like that's like my from like early days of skating. That's always my mentality. Is like, but again, we people can't, yell at you out their car. We can't use the Monty factor as everybody. No, but I can. <laughs> yeah, you can. I, yeah. I'm th- well, then I'm that's here. I'm level. here to widen your, your your perspective. I get that. I guess it because I'm get coming that it's at it from an old man, people. and I'm coming at it from an old skateboarder. Yeah, but have you? How many times were you kicked out as a kid? A whole bunch of times. Yeah. You don't, you well, don't, because, like, you uh, know that side of it, though. I do, but then we just made our own places to skate. Yeah. You know, we made our own ramps or we found pools or, you know, yeah. getting kicked out. I could get kicked out today if I went to some stupid spot and, uh-huh. you know, I'd be older than the cop. Mm-hmm. You know, 
I That'd choose, be kind of cool, though. You got to choose your battles. That's not the kind of guy I need to be. I don't want to have to be always getting chased out of spots. Choose your battle. Yeah. I, I'd i rather make my own spot and spend all day and do something cool on it than, yeah. like, struggle. Because I'm not that good to just show up at a spot and knock something out and then yeah. be satisfied. Yeah. If it's at a spot that's it's illegal, fun I would it's... totally get kicked out before I got anything Yeah, <laughs> that was worth anything. But back unless in the day, we have, unless we back, have permission from the police station, and back in the day, it was not about going to some spot to film a clip. Mm-hmm. We were just always out. See, and that's fun. what I mean. That's like the like, nobody had a camera. My perspective growing up was like like girl and zero that yeah. were just like fuck security. Yeah, that's a whole get... different mentality. I yeah, mean, but I, that's like I mean I that's that. where you're skating. This is where the twenty years comes into factor. Yeah, I mean, I live different I, levels of skating. I get that mentality one hundred percent, and I definitely did my share. I think it's just always. But I was also out of skateboarding for a huge gap of that part of my life where, like, I maybe would have gotten way more busted or kicked out of way more spots, or mm-hmm. I don't know. I got into music and I started touring around, and you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Like, my life completely changed. Mm-hmm. But like up until I was eighteen, nineteen, you know, I was skating wherever I could. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, it was somebody's ramp. Or a ditch or, you know, a spot that wouldn't get busted. Mm-hmm. You never you got c- busted on ditches? No, because we'd find ditches that weren't just like, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like the ditches. They weren't like areas that a cop would just be coming by or mm-hmm. nobody would be calling you on it. Or, you know, like mm-hmm. there was ditches out by the airport or there'd be, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. aqueduct spots or, I don't know. We'd go to spots that wouldn't get busted mm-hmm. for the most part. But I mean, that's but still, we that still out happens tra- today. We weren't out trying to get clips with lights and generators or right. anything like that. We but just- I mean, you, you still come out like we go out in Oshkosh. We, got, mm-hmm. we go out in Appleton. I still can't believe we got bust. We didn't get busted at UWO. Yeah, same here. That was see, an amazing see, day. See, I don't. I know we spent a whole lot of time there <laughs> during the day, and I, they do not I, like me there. I don't know what the. Maybe it's because I'm old and or something, and they. We I don't know. We didn't have any see, trouble. I know. So I have not had any kind of experience with a cop telling me not to skateboard somewhere mm-hmm. since I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. See, you know what I mean? So that I still feel like I am a teenager. Well, I mean, that's just like an. an, an that's something I just don't even want to do or get involved with at mm-hmm. all. I have no interest in that. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't even. I don't even have that thought because it's yeah. always like if I see, especially if there's something like really, that's why I like going to schools recently. Mm-hmm. I finally found a spot in yeah. front of the school of like close benches. You can like Ali on yeah. do. But I look so fun. Like mm-hmm. I've got is too it worth much getting go- kicked out. Of I've my got own job? too much going on in my life to get a trespassing fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd rather spend any kind of money. I've, ne- on I've never a- had trespassing. It was always, just like well whatever you could get yeah but you could have like what did you have to spend because you ruined a bench oh uh i grinded this bench once Uh uh-huh just want to say that um cop came up behind me yeah i owed twelve hundred dollars that's insane i paid you know that i could pretty much build an entire ramp for that yes like at least half of what i got going on out there for that yes is an insane thing yeah that's insane you know what's even more funny the court Mm -hmm. said you can um uh, what's the right word I'm thinking of? You can, uh... damn. I don't even know what you're gonna go. Go uh, fight, fight appeal? it, appeal it. Yes, okay. thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you can appeal it, and I guess even did appeal you, wasn't even or the did right you just word. Pay it? They said you can appeal it by appealing. Isn't the right word. You can go to another. It was made out of marble. Okay. Sure. You can go to another marble dealership and mm-hmm. they gave me an address of another one and they're like if they can give it to us for a lower price to cuz they had to redo the whole yeah. You had to go they get estimates. Yeah, they had to redo the whole bench, right? Okay. The place they gave me mm-hmm. was the place that they got the estimate from. They sent me to the same place and they're like we just did their estimate and we're going to charge you the same price. And I'm like, "Why?" Weren't they saying that that's where they went you could get other ones? No, they were they were telling me to go to another Yeah, a different one. Yeah, but no, the address they gave me, they're like, go to this location and they'll give you a different <laughs> estimate. Know. See, but all I'm saying is that, like, I, I'm, I'm, is in, it, it, I don't was it worth it? Bus- I don't want any cop ever telling me don't skate there. Yeah. So that's why, you know what I'm saying? I'm just too it's, old. I'm too yeah. old for that crap. Some, it just looks so, sometimes it looks so fun because mm-hmm. it's, it's just there. Mm-hmm. Build the building side of it, I love. And you can build, like, your mind, you can mm-hmm. build anything. Yeah. Oh, that's a great segue. That Adidas yeah. uh, Crooked? Yes. Very cool. Them designing Rams? 
Oh yeah, that, that was added, cool. That little yeah. spine yeah, and those all wedges, the little things they built. Yeah, that's, very very. See cool. that kind of stuff is super cool to me. But at the, okay, much, so at the same that's time, much more what I would be. If into. I see something in the street, mm-hmm. I'm 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 like an addict. I'm like I have to go try something because I know mm-hmm. it's gonna that roll away <laughs> is worth every dollar. That roll away it will make me feel so good. Yeah, and I'm, that's insane. That's not me. Yeah, at all. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe at some point it'll change. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm getting close to 30. You are getting close oh, to 30. I said I didn't want to hear it again in ice. You know it. what I'm saying, though? How much more beneficial is it to your skateboarding if you can just build that obstacle and then always have it there or b- make it better? Or... Because in my mind as a skater growing mm-hmm. up in that era, mm-hmm. or at least like in my mind, mm-hmm. that's like it's a different type of skating building it or like they're going to mm-hmm. a skate park that's like all there getting in the street is like a whole different it's it's all those elements you're, you're adding just, up to be fun you're just making limitations in your mind it's all fun no i th- I think that's true for a lot of skaters wasn't skateboarding in the barn in a circle for a no time? it's all fun you know what i mean it's, it's all, all fun, fun but but you're in talking the street about... the element mm-hmm. of oh i get getting that. caught sure. getting it yeah. i don't that's like, yeah. all like still fun to me I get it, one hundred. And like it's crusty, mm-hmm. and like I'm just not willing. I it. get it. I'm just not willing to go yeah. risk my dollars for it. Yeah, and I have spent. I mean, I've altogether I've spent fifteen to seventeen hundred dollars on, on skateboarding, skateboarding tickets. tickets. No, have you ever tried to fight them? Or you oh, ever, every time. Every. Um, the last one I got, uh-huh. which is the mo- the best one, because the cop was pissed, and I was like. I straight up said, like, I'm going to come back and, like, I'm not trying to be rude, <laughs> right. but I will come back and skate this. That was rude. You catch, um, when it, you, when it you got say, worse. When you say I'm not trying to be rude, I mean, you're being rude. I didn't, I didn't say that, uh-huh. but I, <laughs> looking back, yeah. maybe I was, because he was definitely pissed. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to come back, uh-huh. and he was like, if you keep coming back, I'm going to put you into debt. Quote, mm, unquote, that yeah. was, he was pissed at this point, right? <laughs> uh-huh. That ticket got dropped and i had to do community service uh-huh. which was like five hours at saint vinnie's oh, i yeah. love saint vinnie's so that was a breeze they should have had you like five hours like bondoing spots <laughs> oh my god that would have been even better or like just teaching just me how to bondo like like cleaning like you've never bondoed no what no Come on, I'm a Come baby. On, you never do nothing. I never do. You don't even yeah, set up these your hands own board. are these hands are manicured. So what's the big deal about a rough street spot? Oh, I won't. Even I don't set, have to. Don't I don't have to do anything. And never the, bond out anything. The, wor- the worst. You're like I a have trust do... fund skater. No, because I don't have any of the money. I'm like the <laughs> I, tr- I have the attitude with none of the money. <laughs> well, obviously there's no money in it. I'm just saying it's like that's it's all trust fund attitude. I have towards uh, skateboarding. I have you want it all done bones of glass. I have bird bones, so I can't set up boards. <laughs> I was I thinking think, of asking somebody to need sticker to go, my board. You need to go get so go get a thing of bondo. Uh huh. Bring it here next time, and I'll teach you, and we'll Do seal you know the crack one t- up. You know how I bondoed one time because mm. I wasn't gonna like go out and get shit. <laughs> I was at a school in lacrosse. Uh huh. I was at the spot, long curved six stair. Okay. Right. Try and front one eighty. Mm-hmm. Of course, go to. Mm-hmm. Right before there's a huge crack. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right before the go, just filled it with dirt. Just like shit. T- this took me that like an hour helped. and a half. That probably helped. Dude did the trick. Yeah. It's a temper- I went one but time. That's a temporary fix. You're not worrying about the next skater. No, I just wanted to. No. <laughs> true. See, true. It's rude. But what I have, what I have gotten uh, right away there. with. No, that one's yeah. like that one's like off the street fighting. Like I'm gonna do what I can to skate this. <laughs> I get it. That's more. It's like guerrilla warfare. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I mean. But- had Bondoing. you thought about it? There's you're probably like right next to a hardware shop, cart like auto parts. Oh, probably yeah. everywhere. <laughs> but would I would I have been able to get away with that during the day with people like mm-hmm. it was already sketch getting it because mm-hmm. it was like outside the door where people left class. Yeah, so it was like you have like a window. I think I was there for three or four hours. Mm. Stupid. You ever, get the now. Tri- you ever get the trick? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I did. I went the f- I went one time couldn't do it because of the crack so mm-hmm. i just like whatever skated other shit and then i came back and that day i was like so committed to do it that i filled it with dirt for like mm-hmm. an hour and a half you probably could have like actually bonded it for good I uh, yeah. in like 15 minutes 
probably very quick. Mm-hmm. I mean, they didn't kick me out while I was doing the stupid right. dirt thing. Right. Yeah. They're probably like, oh, this dude's weeding the yeah. cracks. Nice. Dude, people were pretty stoked when I actually landed it. So I should have just bought They probably would have been helped. They probably would have helped right? me. Dude, Bondo is so not a big it deal. Even. It's so not a big deal. I could have like bought the stuff and then just yeah. been a baby. I'll buy the stuff. I am a trust. <laughs> I'll buy the stuff. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> You are. You oh, have, yeah, God. you've got a. Uh, I should have brought and been like, can a, somebody help me? A better than, lesser than attitude towards other skaters. <laughs> better. I don't know what that means. You think you're better. Oh, always. Went, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you didn't even know what that meant. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't need to know what that meant. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, no, it's all right. There's some, there's some dudes in the crew that I know I can lean on if I need to get something done. You're not one. True. Yeah. True. But, but I'll always but be there. They're not the guys that I want to have a conversation with about skateboarding. True. So it's where all, are you, it's where are you going to get... You have a unique... Where are you, you going to get this self-deprecating humor? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I need somebody to, to rip on. Come on. Yeah. From Hunter? <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> oh, man. But... Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm really looking forward to spending my hard-earned money on cement and building... Mm-hmm maybe mini replicas of places that are awesome that I've seen street parts done mm-hmm. in and maybe they're not as gnarly, <laughs> you know, the, maybe they'll, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like I would love to do like, um, what are those banks in San Francisco? That, the that, China bank, the China bank, something mm-hmm. similar like that, but maybe that's not so steep and that's skatable and it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Just something similar, a little bricked area or some really nice brick transition. And do you know the one at Esterbrook? That's yeah, similar yeah, to that. exactly. Mm-hmm. Just but some... that one's still pretty steep. I know that mm-hmm. one's. It's not easy. I don't want to make stuff super easy, but I want to make a. I want to more mellow. Build fun spots that yeah. we can just combo Those, in. That and wedge it's like, and spine looked really fun. You kind of be skating around the world if you could do a line in like all these little replica <laughs> That's spots. Kinda cool. It's yeah. kind of it'll be like the Epcot of skate parks. Yeah, we'll do like a Carlsbad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll put, put all in, kinds of little, 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 yeah, just little, We gotta get that odes. fake turf grass. Something, yeah, just like little montages yeah. or, or, or odes to, to spots, mm-hmm. and we can recreate little things. All that'd right, be, maybe, yeah, maybe I don't need to go to the street anymore. That's what I'm saying. We, can, we, make, we bring the street here. Oh. Dude, I got plenty of room. We could That's actually, we could actually we'll pay the street, the street back here. there with some crusty yeah. ass gravel. Yeah, let's like, uh. <laughs> Let's go br- jackhammer it. <laughs> yeah. We'll make that San Dimas gap. We'll, we got to get towed into it. <laughs> oh my God. Let's like, yeah, let's mow out the lawn yeah. and like kill it. Right. Let's just do it down the road and we'll just use the gravity of the hill instead of the tow in. Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah, hit, and it's a, a hill bomb into a street and then gap. And just ollie it. <laughs> Easy. Dude, I'm actually so psyched that it's like getting to 60. Almost, man. What's it today? Hill I think bombs. it's going to be 60. I think it's cl- like 55, 59. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I got people texting me while we're I'm excited there. to go to Madison. That's for like the, for I've their been, hills? Yeah. They have like they have perfect hill, right on State Street. They right. have perfect hills that are just they're like they slope for a long way. 60. 60. It's going to be 61, so like that's a hell of a difference from like a snowstorm the other a day. Snow, yeah, snowstorm 4 days ago. Yeah. I like doing hill bombs, but um, again, in my old age, I have to be fully padded up because yeah. if I get the wobbles and fall, dude, I just can't even deal yeah, with like, down, like road bumps. rash. Yeah, like I'm not. I'm just as much as you feel that rush and how fun it is, man. I just don't want to get hurt. I want to skate True. tomorrow. True. True. So, but with all the pads and stuff, it might look goofy, but I'd probably go down a good hill just in case I fell mm-hmm. because going on your knees and wrists, I'd be just be like, I'd be going past you. <laughs> we could sliding <laughs> you know what I mean? that'd be kind of cool right you know what i hate though think like saying going past me yeah uh that day we go skate day last year yeah, yeah. when hunter and phil were like yeah so f- they, they were, were pushing down you, that i hill. don't because you probably still had old bearings oh maybe dude that would make a difference if you got new bearings going down that hill, plus Hunter Hunter know. was also pushing down They hill. both were. Yeah. I watched that clip again. They yeah. both were. Fuck that. I've never <laughs> pushed down that. I don't think I've pushed down any hill. Yeah. That's some, that's some What's balls. What's super gnarly is like Fakey Wally or like mm-hmm. guys are pushing down San Francisco hills. Yeah. Can't get fat. You can't. Raven. It's not fast enough. Yeah, Raven. He's gnarly. It's fucking crazy. Oh, so there was a clip that I wanted to bring up. And now I'm remembering because mm-hmm. I always end up saying too much and then I save it for the show and then I forget. Yeah. We talk about it way before. There's the show. a park. It's a DIY park and it's got a loop in it, really tight loop. And uh-huh. Chris Russell, I think it's in Hawaii. I think that's what it was. Yeah. I think a lot of them were out. There. Chris Russell, 
doing a loop, so chill with a beer in his hand, didn't I spill a drop. I don't think the beer was open. I'm calling conspiracy. Really? Yeah. Dude, that, I... That's insane. The centrifugal force is going to keep the beer in the can. How, where's it going to... You watch it so many times. You'd have to really like, bail to for it to spill. It's not going to just pour out upside down. You're going so fast. Yeah, but I could no, spin this like this, and it wouldn't spill if no you kept drop. it. No drop. Yeah, because he's gnarly. That's ins- it's insane. Yeah. It was insane. I've seen a lot of people doing stuff on that loop. It looks really badass. I, walked, I watched it so many times. Did I don't you? think the beer's open. Come on. You're going to call Chris Russell out as a liar? Yeah, yeah, what? I am. The muscle? And I want, yeah, I want the muscle to, sh- to show up here. Uh-huh. See, now I would like to build a little loop like that. Dude, that would be so would be so gnarly. fun. Would you even try it? I would have to. <laughs> why, why? I got a vert wall you haven't dropped in on. Just because I build you know it doesn't mean you won't try it. Because I think about it every day. What? The other side. That's what I you just, like. You compress. Out. You compress and you go into a grind. Yeah. Well, that's all I do. I mean, I just I just compress I mean, and I go like, and I rip into I'm a big old grind. In, like honestly, I'm just scared of it all together. Because I'm scared to like. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So if I build shit on the elbow, and if I build a loop, you're gonna try it. How big is the loop? Are we keeping everything mellow? How big do you think that was? Six? You see, it's like maybe six or seven foot yeah. tall. The gap inside. Yeah, let's do like a three. That would be even harder. Yeah, I'll try that. <laughs> well, just get a bucket, see if we can skate in there. I'll just, I just, uh, <laughs> close to the ground. I don't know. I it mean, can't be it... that tight. You got to have room to switch. It's like as tall as a person can, like loop their head with. I mean, you saw him not spin his beer. We should go. Is it which park in Minnesota? Is it Familia or? Mm. I'm forgetting the other. Not third layer. I think it is. Familia. Yeah, third layer. I think this one where Chris Cope did the grind around it. Yeah, yeah. that one. Mm-hmm. Do you see? There was something else of Chris Cope. Um, I'm gonna try it there. There's a, a video of Chris Cope in a old in a pool, actual swimming pool. Like Cookie. Hmm. Cookie. Cookie what? Chris Cope. Chris Cope. The guy that did the loop we're talking about. He was just that cream with the whole larb fest. Chris Cope. He does yeah. a lot of hand plants. He does. He'll do invert switches hands. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. did the loop. Okay. Okay. I don't know if Cookie is his name. I know him as Chris Cope. No, I'm thinking. No, Chris of Cookie else. is a different guy. Yeah, Chris Colburn. I thought it was what you were saying. No, Chris Cope, the guy that we were just talking about. He did. Uh, he's in a pool. Switch carves around the light and the seat. Oh, like a full on switch wow. carve. It was huge. It was crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I forget who was filming. I think it was like I think it might be the Confusion magazine. The, the okay. The, mm-hmm. the Concrete Dudes. Mm-hmm. I think it might have been their video. I think I sent you one. T- I don't remember who it was. I think I sent you one. Somebody doing. I think it was Switch Carve too. But around, like around a bowl. Mm-hmm. And then came in. We're talking about the same clip probably. It's probably the same <laughs> clip. Because he had. Was his, it was, was his head was buzzed. Chris Cope. He had just shaved his head it looked like. Yeah. That might have been the same clip. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He's carving <laughs> around. The light and the seat. No, it wasn't that. No, he mm. was in, it was in like a deep bowl and he was under coping and he was just yeah. like switch carving like no, just you know how <laughs> like people like map out a carve. Sure. He was just doing that around the bowl. He didn't go over anything. So I don't think it was the same clip. I don't know, I'm going to show you. It's probably the same thing. It's probably the same clip. <laughs> I would almost, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, that dude's gnarly. But to just see somebody switch carve is pretty crazy cuz I mean, he didn't make it look so much as backwards as like he's just riding the other mm-hmm. way. Just regular carving difficult. Yeah, that for sure. That doesn't really feel that. I'd like to get in an old swimming pool again. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Like an actual one. I mean, the one in Madison is probably the closest. They got stairs in that one, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that thing's gnarly. That one's gnarly, yeah. I mean, most real pools are pretty gnarly. You know? True. Mm-hmm. Very tr- and people make them look way too easy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, some of them just have, like, feet of vert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're Everywhere. Been, like, yeah. the shallow ones are even, you, you know, know that harder. that little kid when we were at that Madison Park? Mm-hmm. Just ripping that up? Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you learn on or just what you have access to. You can spend some time in there. You'll, you'll get stuff. True. You know, I've been spending a lot of time on that, that no comply to tail slides and stuff. You know, I just, mm-hmm. it was a trick I always wanted to do. And now I've just keep on doing it and do it. And now it comes in pretty, pretty easy now, which is, which is fun. Now I'm trying to get some variations on it. Yeah. So that's a newer trick. This is a, another good segue hey. into my new segment. Oh. What's the newest trick you learned? I just learned one yesterday. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the new that's segment. That's the new segment. Say. Yeah. Do, 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 new segment. Um, I don't even. What's I, your newest trick? Okay, so 
I follow. And this is why I wanted to wait until how it would be different after skating. We mm. might land. Yeah, we might have more tricks. Hopefully every week. We'll have to do another show. It's a new trick. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, we got to uh, skate for next week. I, see, I skate now every day. Almost. So what's the new trick? Um, so I was watching um, on my Instagram feed. I follow um, Old Ginger Bastard. Okay. And uh, so that dude's gnarly. Yeah. He's a full ginger. He wears a lot of times. Full uh, ginger. I mean, he's got a really red beard. Uh-huh. At least sometimes, you know. Um, maybe it just seems redder in other other shots, but the dude, it. he's got some awesome tricks, and there's so many of his th- th- oh, so many of his tricks. I'm just like, oh, I want to do that. But he's got a lot of hand plants, uh-huh. a lot of like lifting your foot off. You know, it's like he's got a really cool bag of tricks. He's got a ro- little bit of roller surf. Vibe. Yes, yes, very <laughs> similar vibe for sure. Um, but he's an older dude, mm-hmm. and uh, I saw him do a trick, and he's like been thinking about this one for a while, and he called it uh, what did he call it? Uh, a push, uh, push cart. Yeah, push cart. So he, he comes up. It's a backside trick. You cut. You gotta. So you gotta grab it with your leading hand, and then you you push with the other foot, and you're kind of like cruising on the coping. Like you're like hand manning. Yeah, like hand manning. Mani- yeah, you're yeah. I never manual. really tried it before, but it was like that looks pretty cool. You can crouch. See, I think why I said it would be very difficult. Uh-huh. You can crouch better than me. Mm. You can grab it and crouch because. Oh, and plus it's backside. It. Plus it's a backside yeah. trick. You don't hardly do anything up on the deck backside even, at all. I can. Be- I have I ever landed a backside sweeper. I don't. Not think- up top. Maybe on the quarter pipe. Maybe. Court- I don't even think on the small. Trayton's got you down on fifty fifties now. He's. Grinding up there, standing I can, up. I dude. can, I can, standing up, I can grinds. Do backside, so this I'm thing, I'm gonna claim I can do backside fifties now. I think I got. Oh, right, we'll see today. And I think I got back. That'll be your I'm new. That's your it. next trick. No, what that's did not I the learn? new one. <laughs> so okay, this is a, a. You come up backside. You get on the deck and you push cart, and then you and then you whip it around a layback grind. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know. I seen him doing. I was like, I think I could probably try it. I got it almost first try, but it took me a little while to kind of get the. I was grabbing the wrong hand first. Oh, and then I was trying to grab both hands on the board, but then I look back and he never grabs it with both hands. No, yeah, just the one in the my one mind. You posted, mm-hmm. you cut it so perfectly; mm. it looks fake. <laughs> it's so it's done so well. The way I caught it, it. What do you mean? Yeah, it, like if that was a gift, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, because it loops right you, there. Yeah, yeah, it's just so like. <laughs> Everything about it is perfect. Hey, that thanks. it looks like a glitch. <laughs> it's just so smooth. Yeah. Yeah. That one. That Very one was a good one. thanks, yeah. dude. I was trying. So like he when he pushed out, he was rolling on the deck, and I was really, really trying to come out and grind the whole way. I wanted mm-hmm. to come out on the trucks and push on the trucks, and I don't think I did that. I think I still came out on the deck a little bit. Did he go to five? At the very end, yeah. He whips it around to no. Actually, no. He, no, he just whips tail. it right to tail. Yeah, because after you did it. I went back to the clip and I'm like, that's like you're right, identical. Yeah. yeah. He has he has a different angle than you. Yeah, that's it's why coming at him like, a little bit. Too. And he's front he he's goofy and I'm regular. Yes. So that's why he's coming out the other way. Yes. But uh, yeah, I, I landed like three or four of them, but that was definitely the best one. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a fun trick, man. Mm-hmm. I've been really trying to just get the backside layback grinds where I Do just you're... come out and then stay grinding, put your hand down, pull uh-huh. the nose like Carl does at Cream. Yes. He has those so clean. Yes, I really want to try to. I'm going to work on those, I think, today mm-hmm. because this one is very similar. I'm getting into that motion, grabbing the board right away. Do you think you could backside 50 pop out of that? Do you think you could go like backside 50, 50. to like boneless? Because mm. I was thinking today. I don't think so because if I'm up there, swap. where would my foot go? I'd be back. Well, you just got the one recently where you pushed. So that's so that's your newest one. Oh, so yeah, the the next the ro- yeah, that's the definitely the newest trick. I mm-hmm. just tried it yesterday and I landed. And so I I tagged him in it. I was like, you know, thanks for the inspiration. Mm-hmm. And he right away he leaves the comment and he's like, dude, you don't have to do it better than me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it looks. It's yeah, so and then smooth. he but he gave me the double beers. So that's I like, you guys I just, both learned that. Yeah, he what thought of it. It is, man. I love it. I love seeing tricks like that and just trying them and being able to post it and have that instant feedback loop with a stranger. So cool, Fantastic. love and it, like, love it. That's See, that's nothing. Skating is like he gets that feeling. He just yeah, had that. and then there's another guy that left some comments after aging hipster is uh-huh. another dude that I follow. That's a good name, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you notice how I could hear you when you got close to the microphone? Can you not hear me at all? I barely I hear. Feel you. Like I, I'm just like waiting to you laugh. Keep, and no, like you keep go pushing it cool. away. But anyways, aging hipster, he's like says basically the same thing of like, man, I, he's 
inspired by both of him and I mm-hmm. and everybody else. Instagram is just great for that kind of like community mm-hmm. where we're all kind of skating together. Mm-hmm. But I, just, but you know like me as a feeling. kid, when I went to a spot with my friends, nobody had a phone or a camera mm-hmm. or anything, and we were just having fun, and mm-hmm. we had a memory. Mm-hmm. That was that. You know, ain't no Facebook Live or nothing. At least you had. I I didn't skate with anyone for ten years. Mm. I had my That's buddy, weird... me, my buddy Jerry. He was my. I mean, it was him and I were skating wherever. You know, we'd mm-hmm. meet up with other crews, but it was always me and Jerry mm-hmm. for sure. It's all. I mean. Every, especially now with all the friends I have with skating, mm-hmm. it's so much fun. Yeah. Jerry was way gnarlier than I ever was. Uh-huh. He had slob airs. Like, he had some really good tricks. Like, he uh-huh. could, he was just like, he always went for it way more than I ever did. I was always on more on the cautious side. Yeah. But, uh, he, he's. Not lately. Now you're sending. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to progress. Mm-hmm. But he, he's a really good drummer. And then he took a, we kind of stopped around the same time and we were in the same bands together and stuff. And so I don't think he's touched the skateboard probably since then as well. Mm-hmm. He can still rip. I don't know, man. I don't think so. Let's, that should be like, that should be our new show. We just like ambush <laughs> old skaters and we're like, get can, in the bowl. Can you still rip? <laughs> ear, ear pads in the garbage. Uh, get in there. Speaking of like time Ooh, warps. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? You got to ask me. Oh yeah, what? Oh, that's right. What yeah. is your last trick? I forgot that you skate. We're wearing that My Thrasher nice hoodie. I was gonna say, Dude, you skate, bro. Thrasher, <laughs> Thrasher, Thrasher. I'm Look Thrasher. <laughs> tell Sponsor. me your, tell me your latest trick. Backside fifty. Uh huh. Front. Wait, 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 wait. Is this on a box or ledge or flat on or a box. ramp? Mega ramp. Mega ra- <laughs> Mega ramp box. Okay. On a box. Okay. Back fifty. Front one eighty out. Back fifty. Front one eighty. So at the very end, you front weighted one eighty yeah. off of it. Nice. I've only been able to do back 180 up. Right. Yeah. So I'm pretty Front stoked 180 on that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. What if uh, What if you do it before the end of the box? Can you pull back enough to to come out of that? I have, and that's the thing. I haven't. I tried it at the Oshkosh Park. You know that Manny Pad Ledge. Mm-hmm. I'm. I can't backside 50 that whole way, mm-hmm. so I wasn't able to do it at the end. And you can you get into the back 50 in front and then of the pop box off early? No, I mean like. On the face of the box, can you get in it, or you have to, or you go in it more like on a end to end, like on the side of it, or mm-hmm. before it? Yeah, like like I could, you could come up on a box like this and back fifty, or are you coming this way and taking the fifty that way? I'm going. This I mean, way, that way. I'm going next to it, like, like parallel. parallel. Yeah, and then going yeah. back fifty. I just haven't been able to get into back fifties well enough to get to the mm-hmm. end of that thing. I did it on a shorter box yeah. when I did it now, but I think I that motion like makes sense now. That's cool. Yeah, I'm stoked on it. That's I a wanted good one. that one. Yeah. Is that something you could translate up on the ramp or no? Oh, Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Because that would be like my worry is I would clip and go to coping, but it's, that it'd be more like a 270 out. Um, no, it'd be more like a 90 because I'd be going backside mm. 50 and then. Yeah, I don't know. Like that, hmm. I'm I'm afraid I'd go to rock, which wouldn't be the first the worst thing though, right? Because if I can get into that motion, do it's it down just a like, rail, down a, like a t- twenty stair. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to El Toro. <laughs> oh man, dude, that's fucked. Now that that's like I was talking to people at surf that uh-huh. that's like a normal spot. It, it's not. It's not. The people, know, the people that like, do that so and many... warm up are not normal whatsoever. <laughs> Fair. Fair. What's, it's still an, uh, an incredible feat. Why is that feat. like a chill spot to those people, though? Because, because it's been insane. done. Because it's been done. Look at all these kids that are 10, 12, 13 years old doing like 540s and like it doesn't even matter anymore. That's a little Japanese kid, man. That he came out to the states. I forget it was some was a mob or somebody flew him out here. Uh-huh. He strutted around a couple of spots and went back. But it's like that guy's got those fakey kickflip nose blunt 360 out like the combos that the kid has is insane it's mm-hmm. a com it's a it's comical mm-hmm. but it's like a video game like it is and, and that's what i'm saying though that's why el toro now is because everyone yeah because insane. it's been done yeah it's it's just been done i want to see more people jump down it actually the rails i mean i do whatever you want it out screw that dude you, you see uh what was it? Some it was screw the rail though. You would you'd any say of that? Screw, the, screw yeah. it all, dude. Jumping down that stuff. I was watching Joslin battling something for that Plan B video where he's like going oh, that down hard flip down that. God, 17. just That's all only that a seventeen. That only, but the beating he took. Yeah, but Elton, dude, the first one I blow out my mm-hmm. heels or I, my ankles shot. He like, went to the back a lot. My 
dude, I don't even get how you yeah. get up a try it twice. I just the, he had my brain he had, doesn't even work that way. I wouldn't even do it. Was I'm, that when he had two torn ACLs too? I don't know. Maybe. At one point, I know Chris Jocelyn filmed know. four points with four yeah, four parts. Porn. Porns. Four porns. Four porn. He got the torn ACL from that first porn, <laughs> and he plowed That's on through. That's how he did it. He, they he, always get hurt not <laughs> skating. Okay, the other thing that I was going to bring up was this weekend. I have not seen much footage, but dude, we're talking about this year, this gap, this chasm that you and I have in our age and our uh-huh. skateboarding history, right? The Y NSA ramp in Ho- that they just built in Hawaii, yes. dude. Hell of a paradise. Twenty nine years ago, mm-hmm. Gons. All frontside all lead a twelve foot gap, and that was unheard of. Nobody else did anything over that gap mm-hmm. back then on that competition. Not even Tony Hawk. I don't even know if he aired over it or anything. I think Gons was the only one that's pretty, that's to really ollie that thing because nobody was doing that. Mm-hmm. Tony Hawk's run was incredible. Tony Hawk's run was incredible. It's super incredible. I mean, switch this and switch everything blunts one, over a spine is so gnarly. There is, did you see that one trick where he messed up on the coping and yeah. then he came back? Yeah. You could see the frustration that he went to like because he, he was a back he would, D. He went too far on, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. got like you know almost went to like kind of low C, but almost like hung up. Yeah, and then he went like it's like he turned up a three notch. melon or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like he turned up He's a notch like, after that. No, I'm fucking blasting over this thing. So this is like a yeah, mini. It's good. a mini ramp, but it's like a Y. Mm-hmm. And so where the Y it's splits, a very cool design. The, where the Y splits is a spine. Mm-hmm. And so there's two mini, mini decks on the outer edges, but everything else is a curved spine. Mm-hmm. And, and one so, uh, side has a, it was built on the beach this year. Yeah, this year on the beach. And that 12 foot gap now has a kinked rail. It, yes. It's not a big kink, but it goes between them. Yes. And so I've only seen some footage, but dude, there's so much stuff like people grinding, doing all kinds of and stuff. And Gon's back at it. He did it again, dude. 29 years later, dude. the same exact Ollie. That's Annie, badass. And he boneless. Yeah, the boneless too. I saw Caballero ollied it. Which he did not oh, do thirty that. years ago, but that's, he did it. Yeah. Dude, so doing so, that's yeah. So, rad. so as good as Cab was back then, he was probably too small to mm-hmm. ollie that gap. Mm-hmm. Whereas now, as a fifty-plus-year-old dude, he did it. But I mean, look that's at, awesome, same man. Same thing with like Tony. Mm-hmm. He he didn't do that for whatever reason, and now he's like the ramp he has mm-hmm. is fucking not the gap between that. Oh and yeah, that rail is that's a sixteen-foot gap. Yeah, isn't it? No, eight foot. It's two full sheets. What was the one there? Twelve. Wow. Yeah, it's really? a big gap because it's a that Y Did you goes s- out. Oh, you didn't see that. I don't know if it was best trick. Whatever mm. Jake Phelps was giving out money, that yeah. trophy. Uh Willis Kimball, you know the guy in Creature. Oh yeah. What did he, he was, do? He was uh back five oh and front five oh, like you um, know, the rail over sure. the gap. Uh-huh. So every time. Yeah. Like he could be sleeping doing it. Yeah. I saw a bunch of people doing that grind on it. Mm-hmm. I saw um I, I don't know. I've been, I've, I've been trying to find. Ronnie Sandoval was There's ripping. a girl that was in the in the um, stands. I've seen her videos. Hunter Long, like she's got a YouTube channel. She, sure. She's a, she's a good skater and she goes all over the place. But I think she lives in Hawaii, mm-hmm. and so she's got these full streams. But she's kind of in the back of the stands, so it's not like oh, the best footage. Sure. But so I've watched a lot of it from her angle and moving around, and she's mm-hmm. got like two pretty long clips of it of it. But uh, hopefully, there's a good edit. I, th- I it. I think that so. Because that ramp looked really cool. It, yeah. What was really, really cool, rad. too, is like all the, a lot of the original guys were there, too, and they're all doing their artwork, like Gons painted, mm-hmm. uh, Hasoy painted, Caballero painted, Eric Dressen painted. I think there was even somebody else. They yeah, all, I saw the dragon. Yeah, they all had their artwork on the ramp, too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it was just a really... So much to... Yeah, it's just skating. to themselves. I mean, yeah. a lot of those dudes were there. Yeah. You know, and they were here 30 years later. And how fun later. to be on the beach. Yeah. I saw another thing. It was Raven. Trache, he was vacationing in Hawaii. And he posted about like, oh, this looks cool. Maybe I'll show up. So he just rolled up. He was already on vacation? Yeah, he was in Hawaii during the time. And then he sees the contest. So he's like, I'm just going to roll up and shred this thing. I saw him at the best trick thing. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, ramp on the beach. I'm in. (sighs) Yeah. And that must be, that's so (laughs) fucking rad. And then, of course, in the comments, it's like, uh, who was it? I think it was Peter Hewitt. He's He's like, better be barefoot only or something, you know, like. I mean, just oh, the, camarader- the, the camaraderie same. between all those dudes that know each other, that shred, mm-hmm. it's so cool to see. And everyone, like, everyone filled that, that beach is, like, yeah. gnarly at that moment. Yeah. Yeah, what a trip to build it on the sand. Mm-hmm. And mean, that ga- did you see that gap between, like, you fell into, because Gans tried it, he was trying it over yeah. it, and he, like, dropped into the sand at first. Yeah. That's probably the camera guys were right than- there, too, watching out to get their head hit by boards. I, oh, saw, yeah. I saw boards coming through there. 
again, Willis Kimball, very good. It's like yeah, I can't wait like, to see all that. The yeah. back five was very good. I was hoping yeah, to I mean, see like Thrasher a live. and Adidas, so they're I, definitely yeah. going to put out an edit. But I don't think they had a live stream anywhere. No. I was looking for it because I wanted to see it all mm-hmm. go down. But... You'll take a clip in the, oh. in the back stands. I, yeah, I will. Yeah. I mean, I'll eventually watch those. Yeah. <laughs> Because they're all in there. But that Willie Lara, dude, that guy just floats around so buttery. Just buttery. Mm -hmm. And what did he do? He went up and nose-picked off the the, uh, the backrest. Off the handrail. That's fucking gnarly, dude. And made it look so clean. The sand. It was just the. It was in pretty well, pretty good oh, for the okay. beach. Yeah, it would just be, or persons, you know, people yeah. or you know, <laughs> leftover wood, something. I mean, yeah. they, where you're supposed to land. People catch them. Maybe catch them with their phone. I don't know if people were standing right back. If they were standing know, behind the that, water. you weren't. You washed yeah. away. <laughs> you were on a cliff edge. <laughs> they built Dude, it up high. Did you see? I posted an edit on the barn burner board there about those guys. I, it might have been a Red Bull thing, but they were on the ice. Did you see that one? Mm-mm. All right, so it's like this guy's idea. And he wanted to go film this little edit, him and his buddy, mm-hmm. out on a mini ramp on a frozen lake. Oh, I did see this. Dude. On the mini ramp, so not they bu- on the ice. Yeah, they're on a frozen lake, and they cut the hole. They cut around a circle, uh-huh. and the circle was sp- the water. It was spinning on the lake, uh-huh. and they were shredding that mini ramp. So, yeah, it was a, they were on a see, lake. I I hated it. Really? Because all I could think about was, I do not want to be that cold and skate. Was yeah, it, those guys was live it there. Rat- yeah, those was guys- it rat? This it is so like, rad. You know Dave, right? Dave? Dave Witt. I don't I think we may have met. Okay. I don't really know him. All last week, he he shoveled out the Appleton Park and skated every day. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Dude. If you... I'm skating inside for like another week. <laughs> Man. W- Ultimate I, skate rat. I put in work. You weren't even there, dude, to clear that bowl in Sheboygan. We were Oh yeah. Dude, we we worked on that ice and snow. Yeah. So I'm da- I'm I, so I down with like, that. See, I'm be down with that. And skate. I wanna like that's why I skated inside. I That's know, a trust fund like, attitude. Look at you. you want, I'm going to call you, you want to trust sweat fund when baby. You, skate. You, want, you don't want to like You don't think they were the sweating? Time. They were probably sweating after a few I minutes. Never, I never do. <laughs> I'm like constantly. Okay, I well, have, again, this was not about you. I was just wondering if you saw this really cool me. edit. It's the trust. Dude, the, all the drone footage, everything of that spinning disc of ice on the lake. It was very cool. It was cool. cool. Yeah. And right, the so, ramp looked fun. Then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I don't want to oh, hear it about the, yeah. there's a, I don't want to hear about you whining. <laughs> I don't I don't even care what you thought of the edit. Dude, what about Mono Imano this year? Dude, Mono Imano is fire right now. It is, man. You know, at first I hated the 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 not the alternating of the mm-hmm. turns. Mm-hmm. You know Hold how on, like before it, you bring this up, what? I wanted just about the ice thing. Yeah. Do you know Josh Lardis? Does that name sound familiar at all? Mm-mm. Guy up there. Okay. He he put out uh have you ever heard of Scooney Boys? Scanny Boys? Mm-hmm. That he for them he did an edit in the snow and he did like power slides on an ice ring. Oh yeah. That's what I thought you were talking about at first. Uh, I'll sh- uh, uh. I think I I don't know if I sent it to you or not. I'll show you that mm. one. But it's like there's parts in it where friends viz do uh snowboard. Do they have the the skates on the boards too? The uh, the actual ice blades? I think they might have. Because I saw an, I saw it, an edit about with a bunch of different things. There might be a different things, one. Maybe. This one he had, he ollied, you know, an ice rink that's kind of in like a shelter? Sure. He ollied into it, power slid, and then popped off. Ooh, that's cool. It was very Just cool. on and, his wheels. Yeah, 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 on a regular skateboard. Nice. Uh, and they do like Dude, tricks. How many times did sn- he bust his ass? Oh, a lot. Yeah. God. He put like a, not really a rough cut, but just like a few falls. Dude. And it's just Ugh. so many. Uh, but there's one, they have a friend of theirs snowboard Mm -hmm. like a road gap Mm -hmm. he's getting towed in jumps onto a skateboard rolls across the road and then (laughs) it's so i'll show you the part after it's like two minutes but it's fun shout out josh yeah you rule dude okay (laughs) that sounds cool next and mano imano mano imano dude so good i was just saying that initially i didn't really like how the 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 alternating of the turn goes Mm -hmm. But I, I, I but like that somebody I kinda, can... I think it kind of makes it a little bit more fair. I, I think yeah. I, I like it more now. Because somebody first, can't run away with it. You can't it. just run it. That's your favorite part when we play out there. The running That's it. my favorite the part. The running it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you Because now going. I've seen it out... Like, there's like four different games of skate out there right now, and they're all different rules. Because we got the barracks, right? They yeah. do their whole trip. Yeah, They got a battle. lot of rules, right? Yeah. The slides and grinds slides and grinds is different because you get two tries per trick. Mm-hmm. And the last you trick... Get three. You get three in that last try. Mm-hmm. And then the ATM on ETN. ATV. ATV on ETN mm-hmm. is one try only. 
and you get three and letters. And best th- best of three out of five events. Mm-hmm. And so mano a mano is the alternating of the turns. Mm-hmm. So you can't run it. And so you, even if you, I mean, as soon as you go, you're basically going again. Yeah. You know, it's you like basically you get two have to turns, land your turns. trick and yeah. then land your neck. Like, yeah. So it's just, it's just an interesting take on it. And I just, mm-hmm. I guess this season, I don't mind it as much because when I first saw it, I, I think it's the hosts that I like. Uh, that I, I like. love the hosts. Really? Yeah, Tim O'Connor. I love Tim O'Connor. I, I'd like them. I just uh-huh. the the banter seems very kind of offensive sometimes. Some of the names he gives these guys. Oh, and they the, seem a little put off. Even yeah, the dudes. Uh, sure. So it's, and it's very sh- quickly edited, so you mm-hmm. don't get a lot of like. There's not a lot of chit chat. It's just mm-hmm. all of a sudden, dude's saying a weird joke, and it's like it didn't land very well. Right. <laughs> but I, I, I have sure. seen him in other things where it's t- definitely a different vibe. Mm-hmm. But their hosting skills on that show is weird. But the who tricks, do you, dude. You, oh, the, the tricks. tricks. Dude. That's all I can. Who are you? Okay, who are you taking? God, dude. Maybe I, we maybe we should do a contest. I don't know. Again. There's so many good ones. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll Haimana, tell you straight dude. Haimana. It's gonna be Jake Haimana Wooten. and oh, right. Jake. We're going Jake all okay. day. Haimana, Jake, and CJ. <laughs> there's so dude, many, dude. There's the so CJ many. The CJ game where he kick flipped in. You yeah. know I always say that's dirty. Yeah. The guy had it. He did. He had no it. No problem. It's only dirty if you don't have it. <laughs> no, it's always dirty. Because you can get... Dude, uh, Even if you know that trick, Jake's you Jake's got far. those crazy, like, back D body burials. I want to learn. No, he just what goes... What is it? It's an ollie. Goes, uh, yeah, ollie, he just airs. <laughs> yeah. And then body... It's like a late body burial. Or, I don't know, dude. That's I want to try those yeah. so bad. Yeah, but CJ has that kind of stuff, too, now. Yes. He's doing a lot of those front side. The, like... Oh, there's so many good tricks. So many Sean good Hale. Tricks. I thought he was going to do better. Mm-hmm. But Did you see he had a cut open his head at the Y ramp? No, no. Yeah, I saw a photo. He's gnarly. That's why. Maybe, maybe it was like a. Uh, There's a lot of sharp corners, sharp edges on that ramp on yeah. that Y. Yeah, I don't know. If you what, miss that edge. If you look at the happened. original Gons one, when he tries that ollie, he hits his shin before he lands it. Did you ever Ooh. see that? Mm-mm. Oh yeah, full shinner in his run, and he looks at it, but then he gets up and then he lands it. Did you see the one, the guy in the mega ram? I forgot. Oh, who. Elliot Sloan, dude. Yeah, where he nails. Come on. Like from 15, 20 feet Ooh. to your shins. Dude, if you can't, if you. No, he went ribs. He went ribs up on the coping. Then maybe it's a different one. I think Elliot Sloan, I think, hit his shins. But I mean, dude, any bail on that is so. Like, you have to look at the wind. Yeah. If you fly too high and the wind just pushes you back six inches, you are You're... hosed. Oh, man. That was a bad one. Did you ever watch, see the one was. um. Jake Brown, I think it was, yes. at, at, at yes. X Games. Dude, where he just landed on flat and his... He went, because he went straight up to... It came in. That was just gravity, yeah, dude. dude. Blew his shoes out. Oh, the sh- Remember that? Yes. Dude, I, I thought he died, away, but man. I, I thought he did yeah. too. I think the everybody The shoe thing, did. I'm like, yeah. holy... F- I've never seen anything like dude, that. It was just like... A- <laughs> that was crazy. I'm always scared now when one of my shoes comes off. I'm like, <laughs> how hard was that? Right. That's fucked. Yeah, because you know he's not wearing some slip-on, loose-ass shoes on the mega ramp. It's yeah. not like no Boo Johnson. No, I thought he... Boo <laughs> The Boo that's what he had on. On the mega ramp. No, he had, like, chunky DCs. God. Yeah. That was so gnarly, though. I don't even want to, like, look at that oh, again. Oh, yeah. That one was... Yeah. Which one's worse? Oh, dude, I don't even know. There's so many bad ones. I've probably... No, no, no. The Elliot between... Sloan or the... Oh, no, the Jake Brown. Jake Brown. <sighs> I thought he was dead. I don't know. We thought he was dead. Who was, didn't uh, Danny Way hit it, rack his shin on the Mega Ramp, too? Like, didn't he crack his shin? Like, there's been a lot of shinners, yeah, dude, I mean, coming Danny down Way's hard. Yeah, every bone. Yeah, but I'm talking just on the Mega Ramp, where you're flying 20 foot, and you're just coming down on coping. Yeah. Come or on. Or flat. <sighs> I don't know, flat. Oh. I don't know, dude. They're both bad. <laughs> Man. If one, you need like, a parachute if one's at some a point. Nine, the other one's a if 10. If you're going too far, ripcord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bob Burnquest style. Yeah. Just so that you like, oh, man. That's why he can still skate Mega Ram today, Danny Way. Yeah. Do you think Danny, Danny Way still does? Dude, he just did a tray flip into his Mega Ramp. Danny Way or Bob Burnquest? You're talking about Danny Way right now. But yeah. He, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, no, I thought that was an old clip. Was it old? I don't know. Is he sitting on a tray flip into the Mega Ramp for 10 I years? Thought that, I thought that post was that it never got used. Oh, I don't know. I could be wrong. But he probably still. Skated. He's building a. Like, he's got a compound. That dude's always doing stuff on the down low, waiting That's for fucked. some new mega crazy something. I mean, and Burnquist has got the mega ramp and the he's huge got the dream crazy land. bowl, that huge mm-hmm. cement bowl now. I think it's some, Remember, 120 uh, yards. I saw Grindline talk about how much cement is at, at Burnquist's place. It's crazy. Who's the guy that just took out his bowl? 
Bucky. Bucky. I don't know if he took it. He moved, and I don't know if the new oh. owners just destroyed it or what. But he he moved. I'm excited to see that new bowl. You know that. Which from him? Yeah. Oh, I don't think he's, he's. I don't think he'll do another bowl. I think he. Oh, you don't think so? No. You think that was just too much? I, have you seen any of the behind the stuff? It took him years to get the permits, just to get the trucks yeah. in to pour this. I don't think he's going to do that. Why would that. you move then? Other factors. He's got a family. Yeah. He still kills it in vert. He's still winning contests. He won yeah. that vert attack. But you had like you have that took so I don't long know. to build. I agree. I yeah. would never want to move there, but who knows? He's got his reason. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe he's sick of all his friends coming over. <laughs> uh, one day I'll sell the farm. There's too, oh, yeah. too many of you clowns. It becomes a scooter oh, yeah, scooter house. It. No, it, it'll never. I'll, have to, never I'll happen. sell it to I'll, one of you guys. That probably will happen. <laughs> That's when, and this is I'll when just, Joe's I'll listening, just, this is when you'll leave me. Uh, <laughs> I'll when just rent, I, I'll just rent the, the place farm. to you and Joe and for the winter, and Don and I will go to the Caribbean. No, we don't want it for the winter. Actually, we just got our passport. Good, finally. So Look off air, you. we should, uh, she wants to go to Costa Rica. Oh, for real? Yeah. Sweet. She. Actually, uh, you guys should go to Jamaica. Which with you guys. This. 2020. Jamaica? Dude, 20 year anniversary. We're going back to Jamaica. Oh. Dude, all inclusive. You got to do it. It's You wouldn't want to go to Costa Rica this oh, yeah. summer, would you? Uh, Maybe off air? You don't want, you'd want, you want to go to Costa Rica in February. Because it sucks you, here. You know what? I take <laughs> oh, it back. It's beautiful there all year. I take it's it back. That year. is what I said to Joe. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, mm-hmm. I, I'm like, I want to go to Canada in summer, mm-hmm. and I would want to go like next February. February is the best. Because you like, get out of it. this muck. All right. So that's on the table. Oh, all right. Jamaica. Yeah, dude. Think about that. But man, let's go skateboard, dude. There's so much yeah. more skateboarding to talk about. There's so much going on. And we've got skaters coming out. And well, one more thing I wanted to bring up. Tell me. Dude, just, Lizard King. Do you see him hippie jump like a, oh, yes. a building? Oh, did you How see, high is that? Did you see the street park of Gans doing the hippie jump? Yes, dude. That's, I love you, Gans. That was in the Crooked Adidas clip edit, wasn't it? That's no, a, no, that was a different thing. Was it? But yeah. He dude, did do Gans, a hippie jump Gans in that is, one. Dude, Gans is so like, he's on point, he's, dude. He's in just his 50s, the best, always. He's on point. Like, you're never going to hear Gans is whack. The Adidas, you're never going to hear somebody say, I don't like Gans. And the Gans Adidas combo collab is just so perfect you know what's interesting is uh one of the clips of gans at this y ramp this weekend it was filmed by apparently i don't know if he's married but his girlfriend or his baby's mom or who i don't know his personal situation Uh but she filmed it and so i just you know i like to look at filmers whenever i see a cool clip i go to their account i like to follow a lot of filmers Uh because you see a lot of cool stuff that way but i go and it looks like it's his wife and i'm like oh man there's like this huge like page full of gans uh-huh. And his kid. I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was married. But have you ever seen her or her account? No. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I looked at her account and I started following it because it's like you get this whole other side of Gons, mm-hmm. the dad. So cool. Really cool. And he's so like he's so out there, but he's probably like so great with people one on one. I would imagine. Like, and that's just the such person a, you want to hang yeah. out. Didn't he's uh, an ultra creative dude, and you just see his mm-hmm. artwork everywhere, and you just see the stuff that he does. But you see more of that in this account than you do through his own almost. Who's the who did they have the epically later on? Who we always hung out with Gans, the film, the director, Spike Jones. Spike Jones, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. He described it best that he just wanted to hang out with. Okay, the last thing I want to bring up. Okay. We just watched Alzheimer's video. Old time, then, Alzheimer's. Alt. I hate that those are. Yes. Uh, no idea video, and I love my favorite thing of the whole week. I loved. I loved the edit. You thought it was do, a little I could long. Just, well, I could just do without that intro. That was really Oh, the weird. intro is so weird. That was weird. Like, I want I my videos short and concise. Like, yeah. And, like, that was, like, a weird 10 I could have just done the 20. I watched it twice before Killer I saw Killer skateboarding, you. though? Because a lot of it seemed a little low impact. Yes. Not and that it, it just, wasn't gnarly. Yeah, it, it just But it's just not very huge fun. rails and huge kinks and huge stuff that I love to see also. Yeah. It wasn't like a Ty Evans joint. Yes. But it was very cool to see. A lot of yeah. hippie jumping, a lot of uh, just cool, I don't know, cool stuff. I, 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 I did enjoy it. Yes. Yes. That was, mm-hmm. so that's All rad. timers. So that's got me, For yeah. all time. For all times. <laughs> the all timers video. All right. Well, um, cool. I hope um, anybody out there listening enjoys this. I hope you're out there getting some skating. And now that the, um, if you're in the Midwest, like we are, dude. It's getting warmer, you guys. Congratulations on the seeing the sun. 
Congratulations on <laughs> if you waiting live, it yeah, out. You did I, it. I do work with a friend of mine that lives out in L.A., Venice area, and mm-hmm. like we were doing some work, and I was telling him how this. I sent him a picture of the Doppler with a snowstorm coming. He's like, oh, I just biked from Santa Monica to Venice. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you jerk. Dude, I don't even want to yeah. hear it. <laughs> so I know it's beautiful in other places, but we're just really happy to see the sun. Yeah, if you live in the Midwest, yeah. you get it. It's so, time to get some. We're going to probably do maybe some skating outside, you said? Yeah, I think, think so. I, I got to see how nice. much snow is still on the slab. I already went down. Is that what you looked. were looking for? I did see. You. I thought you were like lost something. No, I was thinking of skating. Scoping already. out spots. Already, yeah, scoping out Skatosis spots. Skatosis was kicking in. I it's got already, it. Already as nice. soon as I get there. All right. Well, I'm glad that it, it's that, and you weren't like just going getting Alzheimer's. You <laughs> couldn't find the front door to the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was all right. Yeah. All right. Well, cool, man. Then um, enjoy, and um, hopefully we'll chat next week. Try to keep this on a weekly thing. Yeah. And um, skatehost.com, no Facebook, blah, 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 blah. Love everybody and yeah. love you. Thank you, skateboarding. Yeah. Thank right. you, dude. Ciao. High five. Can we reach? Watcha. Out. Out. Old Dude Skate Co.